Hello guys and welcome to my channel once again for another video. Today I will take a look at the newest Lockheed Martin Prepare 3D version 5 simulator which I have recently installed. I will slowly migrate from version 4 to version 5 and if everything works good uh, then my further videos will be recorded on the Lockheed Martin Prepare 3D version 5. Let's check how this simulator works but before we get into the video please show me support and subscribe to my channel and leave me a like at the end. And please comment below if you want to see side by side comparison between version 4 and version 5. So let's get started. So last week I have purchased the Prepare 3D version 5 and installed it. So let's check how does the sim actually responds and how everything looks like. As you know I mainly fly in Slovenia so I have also downloaded and installed the recent version of Slovenia X photo scenery plus airports and the add-on works perfectly on the simulator. I have also updated the Ljubljana airport and I have installed my favorite airplanes onto this simulator. As far as of now I have major add-ons installed and they all work properly. Uh, with small exemptions uh, the simulator works perfectly. I have just experienced problems with JSX, the ground services, as the logos are not displayed on the vehicles but this is a known bug and the FS Dream Team is working on it. And the second minor problem uh, is that I have experienced uh, is the floodlights in the flight sim labs are inoperative, but this is probably the problem with the spotlights and I will take a look into it. But overall I am very excited about the simulator performance as I almost have all maxed out settings when flying flight sim labs. Uh, it seems like the FS Labs is now fully optimized in comparison to other add-ons, as I have experienced starters on other add-ons than FS Labs. The weather also works fine together with Active Sky and the clouds really look different from the previous simulators. Another good thing to say is the modeling and the lightning together with reflections. The first thing I saw when opening up the sim for the first time were the jetways of the GSX add-on. When I saw them they were modeled in every detail and uh, that really impressed me. And you can simply see the lightning and reflections when taking a look at any object. I was also doing some testing uh, and I was flying in the evening time and in the meantime as the sun was setting down uh, the reflections and the lightning was just like in real life. Especially the reflections in cabin were very nice but only the clowns were looking kinda strange to me. But at the end I think that most of the problems will be discovered and will be fixed in near future. The simulator is definitely a new era for Lockheed Martin, uh, but I think uh, they have rushed a bit with the product because of the high competition from Laminar Research for X-Plane and Microsoft for the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So this is how the new simulator of Lockheed Martin looks like. I quite like it for now and I will definitely continue with the flying on the Prepare 3D version 5. Please do not miss uh, next Super Sunday where I will show you the side by side comparison between Prepare 3D version 4 and Prepare 3D version 5. I will try to show you the main differences uh, that impressed me at the first sight and how do, they how do the things look uh, in the version 4 compared to the version 5. Hopefully you will find the differences and maybe I will also convince you to try the newest Prepare 3D version 5. Thanks for watching this short video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave me a like at the end. Uh, that's it and see you soon, bye bye.